Hello, and in this video, we're going to walk through uh, circuit naming in Revit, how to do that quickly and easily. So I'm going to use a shortcut. We've already set up this model here with uh, all the receptacles. We put some general panels in, and that's about it, right? This is a typical, you know, three-story office building, right? You can see our panels here. Uh, <laughs> we've got the clearances around them, so you can see those uh, populated in this project as well as all the receptacles, all that good stuff. So um, here we are, we got a power plan and then I'm gonna use a shortcut for one of our um, creations that we put together. So we'll circuit devices together in each room. We'll create the panel schedules um, and uh, do that whole thing. Actually, before we do that, let me, I'm gonna back out of this and undo, actually, let me undo all of this. I'll undo circuiting but uh, we're gonna name through these panels. So one of the things that we wanna do here uh, first is panel, we'll just say RP1, RP2, uh, just so that we have some panel naming, RP3, RP4, and I'll just do the ones on this uh, first floor, RP5, RP6, and we got two more over here, RP7 and 8, RP7, RP8. All right, that's the easy panel naming piece. All right, now we'll go ahead and create all of our uh, other stuff. So we'll go ahead and circuit everything together, create panel schedules. We'll do uh, seven receptacles per circuit, 115. All right, so... Now we've got all these together, right? And then I'm just using the tab key to basically show you the wiring of it. And then we need to be able to go in here and create a circuit. So um, a couple things with this, and I'll just select all our panels in the project. We'll need to assign them a distribution system. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we can circuit these to our panels, right? So. Here's the ones that we've named through. So we'll just circuit to RP1, which is awesome. And then the next thing that we can do in here, so we just have a load name is receptacle. So we can say receptacle dash uh, instruction room instruction number 108, right? Um, and we can capitalize this. So then when we look on our panel schedules and we go to RP1, we can see here that we have receptacle instruction 108. And anything that we change here will change back in that um, form as well, right? Everything's connected all the way through. And so if you wanted to change like any of these items, you could, right? Anything that's uh, basically able to be uh, powered or to, that has black text, you can change. So uh, let's go back here and we'll just, we'll add a couple more of these electrical circuits. We'll just pick RP1. And again, we just say recept instructions, instruction 106. We'll do the same thing here. Oops, 105. There we go. And then if we want to see our circuit, we can do that here. Well. Pretty straightforward in all honesty. And then if we want to we can tag our uh, panel and I'll show you real quick how to edit these uh, tags. So right now we're just showing panel. So if we wanna have panel, uh, that'd be panel name basically. And then if we want to show circuit number as well on it and we can add a suffix, we can add a dash, here we go. 
and then we want to make it all on one line. Dashes looks like load name. There's already a space there. There we go. Load in the project. Nope. So there we go. Um, we can do the same thing here. Right, this is coming with the leader. So we can just have this here, right? Tag these guys. This is just a simple way to tag it. So, and then we've got our and like these, we might want to add to. We'll just edit circuit. We'll add these two in. We'll remove this guy from the circuit. All right, so now this is no good. It's got in, right, and it's circuit and this guy. piece there and then again we can change these if we want but the big thing that we want to show really is if we go look at rp1 now we can see each of these right so four and five we don't have named so we can do two two ways so rp4 is 104 or five is 103 um so at the panel schedule level uh we can do this And then if I can spell CEP. Then this should be receptacle conference row four, I believe. Let's check 103. And then that's 104. And then So there we go. That's how you do naming of receptacles, uh, really any circuit description within Revit. You can do it either from the panel schedule or you can do it here, you know, clicking on any device that is circuited. Make sure you check or click on electrical circuits and then you can change it here, right? And then change your frame rating, all that kind of good stuff as well. Uh, in Revit, if you show both um, amp frame and amp trip uh, settings within your panel schedule. For this one, we just show trip. Uh, we don't show frame settings for, you know, receptacle panels because trip and frame are the same thing. But for your switchboards, if you have an amp frame and an amp trip uh, setting, you can change that there. And then, you know, here's the circuit where we added a couple uh, devices to it and it updated our BA calculation here. So there you have it. That's how to circuit in Revit and change your circuit names.